Hello and thank you so much for joining me today for another Thought from the Bible. In the last few weeks we've been considering the answer to that question, who am I? And what the Bible tells us about who we are. There are so many voices shouting so loud right now telling us who we should be and what we need to be content in life and what we need in order to be successful. But it's so important to go back to those fundamentals, to go back to the Bible and see what it really says about our identity, our identity in Christ Jesus, in God Almighty, because we need to know that if we are going to live in the fullness of the promises that God has spoken over our lives, if we are going to take hold of every good gift that he is offering to us, we need to know who we are. We need to know what God has promised to us. And so that's what we've been exploring through the last few weeks. And I'm, you know, all of those videos have been pretty encouraging, I think. We've thought about the fact that we are created for purpose in every day of our lives. How we are children, adopted children of Lord God Almighty himself. How we are never ever alone, regardless of how we may feel, regardless of what we may be going through at the moment. And those are all such good things to think about. They're such good things to dwell on. But, but when we really consider this idea of who the Bible says we are, there are some challenges there as well. And we find one of those challenges in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter five and verse 20, which says, we are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. We, you and me, are Christ's ambassadors on earth. That's an easy, an easy statement to pass by in the Bible. It's an easy verse to skim over. It's easy to overlook the incredible significance of what the Apostle Paul was saying in these words. And I think that that's easy because we don't necessarily think about the significance of what it means to be an ambassador. So I'm, I'm here living in this lovely country of Liberia in West Africa, but I'm not a Liberian citizen. I'm, I'm still British. That's what my passport says. You can probably hear it in my accent. If, if I were to have some kind of real problem, real difficulty, some catastrophic situation, some uh, problem that, that facilitated me needing to get back to the UK in an emergency, well, I could contact the British Embassy here in Liberia. And at the head of that embassy staff is the ambassador. An ambassador is the highest level government official in a foreign country. They represent the head of state of the place for which they are an ambassador, in this case, the United Kingdom. And if I had a meeting, if I were to walk into the office of the British ambassador here in Liberia, I wouldn't need to ask them where they came from. I wouldn't be thinking, hmm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Like, are, you, are you from Liberia or are you from the UK? I, I would just know. I would know from the way that they spoke. I would know from their mannerisms. I would probably know from the cup of tea that I'm sure would be served in a, a British embassy, wherever in the world it might be. I would be able to recognize the Britishness in that person, even though they are living here in a nation that is foreign to them. See, an ambassador is not somebody who's voted in. It's somebody who is appointed 
to that role based on the skills that they have, based on the experience that they have. They speak for the nation and the head of state that they represent. They speak on their behalf. They embody that nation. They have the authority and the backing of that nation. Their home government both protects and provides for them. Now I find this really exciting when you start thinking about those earthly qualities of an ambassador and instead think of us in the position of Christ's ambassadors here on earth. See, God speaks through us. We are his representatives here on earth in order to bring his lost children back home. The words that you speak, the actions you take, they matter. They matter because you are representing something beyond yourself. You are representing the kingdom of Almighty God. That is both incredibly challenging, but also wonderful beyond words. It's challenging because we are called to action. We don't simply believe in God and that's the end of our involvement. We are called to a living and active faith. We're called to fan into flame the gifts that God has given us. We're called to use those gifts, whatever they may be, whether that is preaching and teaching or administration or generosity or hospitality or helping other people. Whatever the gift that God has given you is, you are called to use it for his glory as his representative on earth. We're called to look after orphans and widows in their distress. We're called to keep ourselves from being polluted by the world. That's a good challenge right there. We're called to live lives worthy of persecution. We're told to always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks us to give a reason for the hope that we have, but to do it with gentleness and respect. Taking up our cross is not easy. Being a representative of God in this foreign land, this world that is not our home, is not easy. And yet, and yet, that's where the wonder of this God-given role comes in. See, just as an earthly ambassador on this world is provided with everything that they need to do the job asked of them, God has given us everything that we need as well. An ambassador has access to his own nation's resources for the assignment that he has been given, and the same is true of us. But the resources that we are offered are not finite. They're not governed by a budget. They're not given by a state that has a, a limited amount of resources to offer. We have a God who meets all of our needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. We have an infinite God who is all powerful, who can meet every single need, whose resources are unlimited. A God who is everything that we need in this role, everything that we need in every single day of our lives. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in Christ. And I'm not talking about money here. You may be rich, you may be poor, chances are you're somewhere in the middle. I'm talking about everything that you need for your assignment here on earth, representing God Almighty to the lost. That means that all you need to do if you find yourself lacking wisdom is to ask. It means remembering that God is our rock and our protect, 
protection and our shield and the power that saves us and our place of safety when the world seems to be battering us down and we wonder how we can possibly stand against it. It is knowing that we can run to the shadow of his wings. He is everything that we need and it is our privilege, it is our responsibility to share that wonderful knowledge with the people that we find around us. Yes, we have that responsibility. And yes, there are gonna be days where it feels a little bit difficult to be an ambassador of Christ. And yes, there will be days where we get it wrong. <laughs> because we're not perfect. And that's okay, because God's mercies are new every single morning. It is so worth living this life. It is so important for us to grasp hold of this truth of who we are, because in it, we recognize our mission, absolutely, but we also recognize more of what God Almighty thinks of us. Because do you think for a second that the King of England or the President of the United States or the head of any other state on this earth right now is going to give that job of ambassador to just anyone? You think they're going to just walk down the street in their country and pick somebody at random and say, right, you are going to represent me in a foreign land? Of course not. That job is gonna be given to somebody trustworthy, somebody capable, somebody skilled, equipped, somebody fit for that job. And regardless of what you may think of yourself today, that is what God sees when he looks at you. He has entrusted you with this role. He has given you everything that you need to do it. He chooses to work through us, flawed and simple though we may be, in order to reach out to those who don't yet know him. That is an absolutely incredible honor. It is a challenge to consider this week. How are you representing God to the world around you? If somebody had a conversation with you, would they recognize the kingdom of God in you? It's challenging, but it's wonderful. We are equipped by God for this role. Thank you so much for joining me today for that thought from the Bible. I hope that that was an encouragement to you. And if you're finding yourself struggling a little bit at the moment with, with keeping that faith activated, with having that living and active faith that you can show to the world, then I really do encourage you to get hold of a copy of my book, No Mountain Immovable. It's for sale on Amazon and there are just some thoughts and some questions that you can answer on your own or in a group to really dig into that topic, to think how can I strengthen my faith? How can I keep my faith activated in this world that I find myself? I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'll be back on Wednesday next week with another video, another thought from the Bible. I will see you then.